Hi everybody, um, today we're going to demonstrate the installation of our new Electura. We're going to show you how to install the pedestal, the chute and also the chamber. Um, we're demonstrating this on our um, new prototype uh, modular outdoor building. Um, this is a disabled uh, building and uh, we're demonstrating it without the cladding on so that you can see how the Electura is installed in this instance. to where it needs to go. We're demonstrating it today with the Pandora pedestal. When you receive your pedestal, it'll have a toilet seat. It'll also have the brackets for mounting the pedestal. And there should also be a template. That's for marking out the hole. So different um, pedestals will have different templates. And um, today we know we're installing this as if it was a disabled toilet in the, the proper disabled location. So using the template, you mark out your position of the center of the hole. Now, bearing in mind with disabled, the front of the toilet here has to be 800 mils from the back wall and 450 mils to the center from the side wall. In domestic installations, it's advisable to actually position the toilet and look at it and make sure that you're happy with it. Um, sometimes in a narrow um, toilet room, you might position it in the center rather than 450 millimeters from the wall. Now that we've actually located the center of the hole, we will drill a hole through there just a pilot hole and the reason we do that is that we want to make sure there are no joists below the ear and also there's no services except uh, if for instance some um, water pipes or electricity or etc so be careful drill the hole through go underneath and have a look um, with the Electura you require a minimum of 500 millimeter clearance be below the main bearer. Now you can probably get away with 475 millimeters, we say 500 just to be safe. This is slightly higher than that so we've got plenty of clearance here. You also want to make sure that you've got a nice level pad here. Um, suggest you lay some concrete tiles or you could lay some uh, sleepers, uh, hardwood sleepers or something like that. They won't last forever but uh, concrete tiles underneath here so that it makes it easy to wheel the actual chamber in and out from underneath your uh, building. Now position your chamber, just to make sure that it does fit underneath the hole. And it does fit under your building perfectly. So once you're comfortable with that, then you can go back upstairs now and actually cut the hole in the floor. Now that the hole's been cut, grab um, the number of shoots that you require, clip them together. Okay, multiple can be um, joined together. Slide your chamber in, drop that in. 
I'm using a white pencil here with a white pencil mark the top of the lid onto your chute. Remove the chute. So ideally, you want that measurement, you cut it below that line, 20 millimeters. Using a handsaw, jigsaw, or a hacksaw, it's quite easy to cut this. Slide the lid up the chute. Insert your wood shavings into the bottom of the actual chamber before use. There should be a good 50 millimeters in the bottom to start with. This also should be moist before you start. Don't leave it dry. Slide it into the location. Put it on and see that you've got some good tension on it. That's quite loose. All right. well, there we go, and that locks it nicely closed. There we go. Cool. 